Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm making a short video just to show you guys how I walk around in the aircraft. Um, I'm going to show you which keys that I've bound to the controls to allow you to be able to walk forward, backward, left and right. I know it's uh, some of you guys have probably already seen it in some of my other videos, but just in case you haven't, I'm just going to make a very quick uh, short video just to show you guys which keys I use. And you can, of course, use whatever keys you guys want to. So sit back and I'll uh, show you guys what I did. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go over to options. And then from here, you're going to want to click on control options. Now this uh, can look a little confusing. I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible. So at the top, you're going to see your controls for the keyboard, mouse, and any peripherals you have connected to the SIM. What we want to do first is you want to check and see if the key that you want to bind to that movement is already being used by another function. Because if it is, every time you're going to try and press that button, it's going to do the movement and it's going to open up or toggle on and off something else which you may not want it to do. So I personally use the WASD on the keyboard. So W forward, A left, D right, and S backwards. So in order to see if it's currently being used for a different function, you want to click here where it says search by input and make sure of course that uh, the device that you're using is uh, highlighted here at the top. So I have keyboard highlighted with the right profile. So under the, the key toggle here, I'm going to push W. And now you see that it brings up this list. So this small list is showing me anything that has that key um, attached to it. So for example, uh, transponder, if I wanted to enable this option on and off, you hold Shift, Alt, and W together, and that will do this function. The W by itself will not do anything here, it won't do anything here, and it won't do anything on these two. Only these ones here that have the W by itself is what I have to be careful with. So. Right now, this option with the W by itself is in developer mode, so it's okay, I'm gonna leave it because my developer mode is off, so it won't uh, toggle anything on and off. So now that I see the two keys that I have bound, I have translate cockpit view forward, W, and the drone camera have translate drone forward, W. So again, you can put any letter you want in here on the keyboard, I just prefer the W just because I'm used to the WASD. So right now it's set to move the W forward. Now you can do the same thing with the rest of the letters. So if I take out W here and I type in, for example, letter A, you'll see that A has uh, the cockpit camera view left and the drone move left. We can do the same thing with D and D is cockpit view right and uh, drone move right. And then we have S which is going to give us cockpit view backwards and the drone move backwards. Now, if you have a key in here, or if you have another option that has that key that you don't want, what you want to do is you want to click on it, and then you're going to click clear current input, and then you're going to click on validate. Once you click on validate, that spot is just going to become empty and you're going to see that now you can enter in a new one or you can just leave it blank, which means that function is no longer being controlled by that key. So let's say now you wanted to program the keys to move in those directions because they're currently not programmed. So what you want to do, the easiest way probably to do it is if you go to search by name, just type in view and you're going to get these options. So here's camera, if you scroll down, you're going to get tons of different options. External camera, um, you're going to get uh, instrument views. So right now we want to focus just on the cockpit camera because that's what's going to allow you to move within the aircraft. So as you can see right here, we have translate cockpit view right, cockpit view left, uh, forward and backwards. So let's say for example, the W, which is move forward. Um, like I mentioned before, let's say I want to erase this one. Let's clear this input. And I'm going to click validate and there you go. So now I can't move forward anymore. I don't have a key bound to moving forward. So let's say I want to add W back in again. If I click this button, 
And now I'm going to press start scanning up here. And now I'm going to press the letter W on my keyboard. It's going to normally, if, if it's bound to something else, it's going to give you this, which is why I said make sure you guys check to make sure it's not bound to something else. Um, but I know it's, it's, uh, it's fine. So I'm going to click on validate. And now the W is back in here again. Once you've added your movements on the buttons that you want them to control, then what you want to click is apply and save. And that's pretty much it. So you can do that on the keyboard. Um, you can probably do it on a peripheral like a yoke if you have uh, with buttons. So you can uh, program the buttons to do certain movements. Um, like I said, I prefer to use the keyboards W A D S. Um, the movement that I use to look around when I'm doing the walking is the right button on my mouse. So if I click on mouse and I go to, let's erase the view here for a second, and I'm going to click this second button for the input, and now I'm going to click, let me erase this one, sorry, I'm going to click the right button and hold on my mouse. Okay, so here you see all the right button on my mouse, what it controls, and obviously the most important is the cockpit camera, so this one toggles the cockpit view free look, and the toggle the cockpit focus mode. So free look is the most important because that's what lets you move around the cockpit when you click and hold it while you move. So once you're done all these, like I said, just go back, make sure all the settings are saved. And then let's go into an aircraft and see how that looks. Okay, so here we are inside the cockpit of the 777. So again, if I go into an exterior view and I click the right button on my mouse and hold it and now move, you'll see you can kind of look everywhere you want with the mouse. When I'm in the cockpit, the same thing. If I click on the right button and I move it around, I'm able to look around. And what I want to do now is I want to use a combination of holding that right button on the mouse with those keys W, A, S, D, which give me the ability to walk around. So if I look back towards the door and I just push W, now I'm able to move. There's the door. I'm going to click left button to open. Now I can continue to walk forwards. And again, anytime I want to turn or go in a different direction, I'm using my mouse and I'm just pointing in the direction that I want. Now some items won't let you go through them. Some will, like these chairs, I can walk right through them. Um, but some parts of the aircraft, once you hit them, you're going to stop and it won't let you go until you go back and then kind of around it. But here you're able to freely walk around anywhere you want. Even when the aircraft is in flight, it's going to keep you at the same level inside of the aircraft. It's not going to throw you around, which is nice. Um, and I think that's the biggest problem with the drone is that the drone doesn't keep your height. So yeah, try this out. See how this works for you. If you guys have any concerns or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I hope this was helpful and that you guys learned something from it. As always, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like on the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Happy flying.